Hello and welcome to my review of the iTech Refractor Telescope. This telescope is a small inexpensive refractor that you can find online of course at places like Amazon.com which I'll put a link down below uh, but you can also find it in grocery stores which is where I got this one and department stores uh, and probably even convenience stores. These things run anywhere from $20 to about $40, depending on where you get it, you know, whether it's on sale or not. Um, and this is basically going to be kind of a recap of another video that I've got of why you should not buy department store telescopes, except it's going to be a little bit more detailed. So if you're looking through my videos and you see another one on department store telescopes, why you shouldn't buy them, and you see this, it, it's close to the same video, but I wanted one that targeted more this particular telescope and why. So let's start with the front of the box. The front of the box shows a picture of the telescope name, some stuff like 60X and 120X, um, which, you know, the 120X, uh, theoretically, yeah, you can get 120X out of this, just like theoretically you could win all the, uh, state lotteries simultaneously. It could theoretically happen. Um, and then they show you some pictures down here uh, that you're just not going to see with this telescope, like, ever. So why they put these on here other than these are the things you can look at, but they're going to be blurry little messes. So pretty much everything here is... <laughs> I'm not going to say totally false, but stretching the truth might be a, a better word. Uh, interchangeable eyepiece lenses, yes, technically that's true. Finder scope to locate objects fast. Um, okay, the finder scope for this thing is right here. I literally have writing pens bigger than this. Um, looking through this is actually worse than looking through a straw. And I'm not making that up. The objective lens on this side is a little bit bigger than a straw, true, but the glass is so poor that it almost makes you seasick. And when you look just right at the edges, everything is horrible and the, the uh, light from the star or, or whatever you're looking at is skewed and it, it's terrible optically. It, it's, it's just a piece of junk. You might as well put a straw on there. Uh, durable design. Um, compared to paper mache, that's probably true. Uh, lightweight construction. Now, there's one that's absolutely factual and dead on. This doesn't weigh diddly. You could probably bash someone over the head with it, and they would just look at you like you're stupid. Um, it's extremely lightweight. So, look around here. Look at the back side of the box. We have the same as, as on the front, interchange eyepiece lenses, finder scope, durable, lightweight. Clear aperture is 50 millimeters. That tells you how big it is. Pull this out. 50 millimeters is the glass in the front, which is plastic. Um, how far across that is in diameter, it's 50 millimeters. Uh, and, and that's uh, pretty truthful. And let's see, focal length 600 millimeters, that's about right. Sight glass 4x18. Now, uh, the sight glass is uh, what they're calling the finder scope here. So there's two different names for the same thing, which is interesting. The highest is 125 cent centimeters, which I'm assuming is the tripod height. The eyepieces, it has an H5 millimeter and an H10 millimeter. Uh, H, I believe, stands for Huggins is the type of eyepiece. It's an extremely cheap eyepiece. And then it tells you do not look at the sun because, you know, it'll probably melt. Um, but no, it's actually very dangerous to do that. One of the things that I pointed out in the last video, which is kind of funny, is right here, this is the objective, and they call that the objective lens back here, which that's pointing to the correct thing. And then it says objective lens cover. And they're pointing to this. And because they've got the cover actually off, so they're pointing to this little guy. And that's not the objective lens cover. That is a dew shield. 
not that you're really going to have that problem with this telescope anyway. But, so, now that we've punched a whole bunch of holes in the, the advertising on the box, let's look at the actual telescope. So, this is actual plastic. The, the tube, it's painted silver, it's not metal, it's plastic. It is, I mean, I can very easily squeeze the end of this. I don't know that that'll actually come off. No, because it's got a screw in it. But this, I mean, you can see me squeezing that. that that's just cheap little plastic. Um, the focusing, it, it does move, but it's so loose. And, I mean, if you can see that, the wheels kind of wobble as they go up and down. And all the threading is through plastic, so you got to be very careful not to... Uh, tighten anything too much or you'll just strip it completely immediately so that's your telescope tube and the optics in it are just horrible and what's even funnier is they're they came dirty they didn't even clean them so that's kind of uh kind of funny the diagonal which reflects the image from the telescope up into here is um, just a cheap little piece of plastic that they didn't even bother to sand the little ridges where it's glued together off and once again since it's plastic if you tighten it even just a little too much it'll strip the threads uh, the yeah who cares <laughs> that's just not even worth being there and the the way it's mounted is they just wrapped a piece of uh, basically thin sheet metal around uh, this tube which funny enough is metal the telescope's not but this is go figure they just wrapped that around and put a bolt through it uh, to, to hold it kind of a cheap little design now the eyepieces this is the eyepiece one of them and it is totally plastic flexes it's painted silver to make it look like metal it's not uh, it has no real eye cup uh, this is probably the single cheapest eyepiece i've ever seen in my life uh, i have seen uh, i mean look it just pulled right apart it's just yeah okay so you get two of those in the little cases uh, one thing I should mention is that these eyepieces are teeny tiny uh, diameter wise, so they don't match up with eyepieces on any other telescope. So you can't upgrade the eyepieces. You can't go buy separate eyepieces like you could with a with a different telescope. Um, so you're just kind of stuck with that. The tripod. Just flexes all over the place. I mean it's insane and when you I mean that's actually a little bent already from the factory and uh, and you it's easy to, to unfold but once you get it unfolded and stuck it and look at that see that that's it, it doesn't even it doesn't even spread out correctly so once you get it spread out it's not sturdy at all the legs sit at an angle like this it uh, this is probably one of the worst designed uh, mounts I've ever seen now can you actually put the, the telescope together on it well probably so you screw that little guy on there And that holds. But, I mean, and then this guy goes in here. And then you take an eyepiece and you put it in there. And let's go ahead and assemble the whole thing while we're here. So there you have it. There you have the whole telescope. Now, you see how it's just wobbling. This whole thing is, 
I mean, literally, what I just there's nothing here. Um, okay, so you've heard me sit here and badmouth this thing for a few minutes now. So here's the deal: don't buy this, please. Don't buy this. Uh, yes, I've got a link to it down below if you just absolutely have to have one. But this is a worthless pile of junk that will do absolutely nothing except annoy anyone you give it to, to the point where they will no longer be interested in astronomy or, or anything anymore. They just, telescopes will be out for them. You are, you know, let's assume for the sake of conversation, you spent, I don't know, $30 on this. You could put a little more, basically a little over double that, and buy something, a, a nice little uh, Celestron or Orion um, 60 or 70 millimeter telescope that is 10 times this thing easily um, and can actually be used to see stuff. Whereas this, the optics are just horrible. Uh, when I took this out and looked through it, I was just, I tried it with glasses on, glasses off. I just, I couldn't believe it was that bad. Uh, and that I had to clean everything before I could actually even try it. But it is. It is that bad. It is horrible. Um, you would be just better off getting a, a paper towel roll and gluing it to a board and saying, here you go, have a nice day. So save your money. Uh, buy something a little nicer. You, we're not talking $1,000, but if you can get something in a $70 to $100 ballpark, you're going to be way ahead of this thing. And you can get something that somebody will actually want to take outside and use instead of something that somebody wants to bash over your head for buying them. So anyway, uh, hopefully this helped you and saved you a few bucks. Um, be sure and subscribe down below to, to see the other stuff that I come up with uh, and try and save you money. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below and like the video. And uh, hopefully you will get a good telescope and go out and have some clear skies.